Radio Minnesota. potentially get up to 10 inches of snow today so we're gonna stick around hang out inside a little bit and get some more progress done downstairs in that uh, bedroom and on that hidden closet here you know I spent a little time we went over the whole room with white paint I'll tell you what um, living on gravel roads and not using the air condition very much in the summer and having windows open it's amazing how quickly your ceiling start changing colors and it doesn't really become as obvious until you get some fresh white paint on there so since we're in the midst of the whole construction project, thought we'd spend a little time getting everything touched with white paint and uh, we'll see if we can make some progress today. So you can see my wife's been spending some time getting some of this stuff cut in here with some actual color on the wall. And then uh, the big thing here is actually getting the closet area some color on there. As soon as we get color hung up on that wall, then we can spend some time and actually get the mirror hung up. And that will really be the, is it gonna work, is it not? I might have to come in and take a plane and trim down these boards just a little bit here. Uh, Cause I want it to be nice and snug, but we won't really know until it paints up on the wall and we start hanging the mirror up. So another thing you'll notice is we got a lot of this wood trim that goes around our entire basement. In the other room we ended up painting that white. Like how it looks, especially matched up with sort of a bluish grayish type paint. Kind of gives a little bit of a country, but yet clean um, feel to it. So we're going to continue that theme on into this room here. So, so we ended up getting round one done here. We have to do definitely another second coat, but really helps quite a bit. You having two people, one person doing the cutting in and then the other person doing the roller, you can cover ground really fast. So I did make one little mistake sitting up there in that corner. I ended up bushing, bumping the, the roller up there. So I have to go back, touch it up with white paint. But because we just came in and hit everything with white here, it's gonna be very easy. It's not like the ceiling's gonna be a slight off white or something. It'll be very easy to blend that in. So now that we got a little color on the wall, uh, usually that's when the flaws start coming out in the drywall. And so far, everything I've been able to see, I've been very pleased with. That was the nice part about this project. It really wasn't a, a big raise. Go out, work just for a little bit, kind of tinker around and do a little bit of a thorough job. And when it's all said and done, um, I, I couldn't be happier so far. Well, it's starting. These are going level, so well, I'm um, gonna have to put a screw. 
You all shouldn't be a ladder, I don't think. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Could we see up there? No. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's like a place you could put a screw here, you could put a screw through here. There's this place you could put a... That might be tough. We could come back to that one. Um, so... So you can't just put the... Put this on the wall and screw it on and then put this in? You can. It'll be just difficult. I mean, plus, because the main thing I'm, I'm worried about is the spacing, because that's got to be precise. Because mm -hmm. one's just a little cockeyed. Well, we could put, you could put it up and we could figure out where it's got to go. Or unless that doesn't really matter. I'm sure we could put it up and put that somewhere. It's not perfect. It's not bad. You want to put a screw? I want to screw through here. Kind of nice, it opens up all the way. So I feel like I need to bring this in just a touch. I'm gonna have to pull that off. All right, would you be able to pull all those screws out, I guess, and just put in? clean up look nice. Uh, you get trim back around the door, all the plates back on. Really excited. The closet's gonna, I mean, one, add quite a bit of value to our house, just an additional official bedroom since we do have a window in here and now we have a closet. The mirror on the wall, I'm, I'm liking this. I did have to go in there, trim things down so it sat just a little bit more flush against the wall. The one other thing I did too with those drawer slides, right on the very end, there was a little bit of silver there. I took a black permanent marker and went around that just to darken it so it doesn't, you know, your eye, it doesn't catch attention. And then the other nice part here is actually where the light sits up here in the ceiling and the way it casts shadows, it kind of shadows that area a little bit. But uh, the way things are positioned, I'm pretty happy with it. So here's what it, I guess, looks like here when we slide in place. Um, yeah, let me actually leave this in place. You can see it's all nicely centered in here. And then uh, when I open all this back up, I mean, there's quite a bit of space in there. Be able to put some pretty big things. Here's those drawer slides here. This actually, when I measured things out, this actually was the center, this little groove here, not one of these. So I, it was pretty easy. I just marked things right in the center of this entire wall area. And uh, I just made sure that was visible there. The other thing too, is if you look here, they actually have springs in here. So when you shut this thing, it kind of locks in place and quietly uh, shuts and everything. So, I'm pretty excited about this. So there you go guys, pretty simple little project. I really like having this cubby, this little hiding spot here at the wall. Uh, didn't really require that much more material or time as we were building out this closet here. So I just thought I would share this, this idea with you guys. I know some people were asking why build something like this. Um, one is I think it does add a little extra layer of security. You can hide some different valuables. The average break-in is, from my understanding, about eight minutes. They're looking to come in, grab stuff as quick as possible, and get out, and then move on to their next target. And having something like this, you know, and they're not gonna be running around looking for false walls and, and all these little hiding spots. So it does add a little extra layer of security, as well as it does add a little bit of um, uniqueness to your place. Everything being so cookie cutter nowadays and, and slapping things up and just taking a little extra time to build something like this adds a little character to your house as well as the security side of stuff. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.